presentation. <coughs> Hello, my name is Stephen Twig. For my project, <coughs> sorry, I looked at the reader's writer lock, which is sometimes called reader's writers, reader, reader. Um, this is basically a synchronization construct that either allows multiple parallel readers at one time or a single uh, writer to an operation. Um, this actually has applications in a wide variety of areas. For example, uh, cache coherence protocol could generally be considered a collection of reader's writer locks. Um, database networks uh, allowing read-only transactions while still modifying the data would similarly use these. And uh, even just using valid flags, such as what you might have done in homework three, could definitely be considered uh, a variant of this kind of lock. Now, fortunately, uh, in the past, a lot of previous research has gotten functionality behind these locks and being able to do them somewhat efficiently and get the priority between readers and writers that you're looking for. However, the past research didn't spend much time uh, looking for performance optimizations or, even more importantly, network uh, communication optimizations. Uh, a lot of the old algorithms like the spin lock on remote data, which can easily saturate a network with lots of just pretty much obnoxious messages. So my work uh, was done into doing iteration on those algorithms in order to cut back the communication to make it more efficient, as well as actually measuring how long it takes to release uh, readers to writers, writers to readers, and to make some optimizations to that. I was actually able to get some marginal success in improving the release to make it a, a scalable response, and uh, implemented a partial solution in UPC tested on the NERSC copper cluster. Um, if you're interested in the structures that you use to build these locks and some of the optimizations I looked at, please come visit me at my poster outside.